Photons are massless, yeah. however, are given a mass equivalent based on their energy. Yes, they do. Does this mean that gamma rays are affected more by the curvature of space than radio waves due to there being a higher mass equivalence? Many thanks, and I love the show. Wow. Okay. Mm. So there's a lot going on there. Yes, it okay. is. So the mass equivalent, you, you, you have the energy of the photon. You plug it into E equals MC squared. Mm -hmm. You plug it in. Mm -hmm. The E is for energy. You put in the energy, and on the other side is M, mass, times C squared. That's the speed of light squared. That's just a constant. You look that up. Okay. Plug it in. So energy and mass are related in this way. Mm -hmm. So what he's wondering is, if it has no mass, would it still respond to gravity? And if it does respond to gravity, do the higher mass equivalent photons respond more? Mm. That's the question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that's very Aristotelian, and Aristotle got a lot of physics wrong. Okay. Okay. You know what Aristotle said? Yeah. I, I'm a little bit paraphrasing. He said, heavy things fall to earth faster than lighter things oh, in proportion with their mass. He didn't use the word mass, but in terms of their, their weight. Yeah. That's not true. Like a rock and a feather. Well, a feather is different. Fine. Okay. That's true with a feather because a feather is doing this, mm -hmm. but get a heavy rock and a light rock. Right. They fall down at exactly the same rate. That's right. Exactly the same rate. Yep. That is way more profound than most people appreciate. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. The gravity is pulling more strongly on the heavier object. Mm -hmm. But it takes more force to accelerate the heavier object at the same rate as the lighter object. Mm. So they fall at the same rate because... Earth is pulling more strongly on the heavier object. Mm. Okay, so in, uh, let's back up. So I have a, something light, everything's on wheels, and something massive and something not massive. Put the same force on each thing. Mm -hmm. On the low mass object, it's gonna scoot along real fast, yeah, right? Yeah. And the heavy one's not gonna go very fast, mm -hmm. okay? So if the force of gravity were the same on every object, you're putting the same force, then the lighter things would go faster. Right. The force of gravity is stronger on the heavier object. Yeah. Because if the heavier object and the light object are both accelerating at the same rate, something's pushing that harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if they all more show up, power. The more. Yep. Okay? So, even though gamma ray photons have higher equivalent mass than radio wave photons, because the whole electromagnetic spectrum can be thought of as photons, mm -hmm. even though they have more mass, they're each attracted to gravity at exactly the same rate. Wow. Wow. That's, wow. It's... By the way, that's called the equivalence principle, mm -hmm. advanced by Albert Einstein in 1915. Mm. And it's one of the most profound advances in human understanding of the universe that there ever was. Because everyone thought something's heavier. Right. It would go. In fact, the dudes yeah. went to the moon. They brought a hammer and a feather. On the, on the moon, there's no air. Yeah. So the feather is not doing this. Yeah. Had the hammer, the feather, let go. They fell at yes, exactly the same rate. Yes, yes. And that's the moon pulling on them, but it's just how gravity works. That's right. Yeah. So everything will respond the same. I love this. Because it doesn't matter how much it weighs. It, it's, it's cool. This is another thing I want to follow up on. I, I love this what, stuff. What? I heard we all have our own gravity. Yes. <laughs> that's yes. <so> incredible. <laughs> That is amazing. Yes. I, I thought it was just people because people liked me. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I, I, <laughs> so if I put you out in space and I had like a marble yeah. and I gave it just the right speed in just the right direction, then it'll go orbit around you. Whoa. No, no, a marble, probably like a poppy seed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, maybe less. something like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so we can make at least some of the universe orbit you. <laughs> if your ego needs it <laughs> I, I know I know my, listen my wife believes I have my own gravity <laughs> she's like it's, it's called narcissism uh, is what it's called so the real way to say it is you and the earth attract each other yeah, yes that's Th great that's, that's what's going on that's it that is so beautiful Remember, so if, if you jump out of, off a cliff and you fall to earth what's actually happening is you and earth are falling towards each other except you're doing most of the moving yeah 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 <laughs> earth will come up just a little bit uh, yeah. <laughs> I love it 